Hello! How is everyone? This is a little bit of an impromptu Facebook Live. If you are brand new to this group and you do not know who I am, welcome. I'm Brianna, I'm the founder of this group and I help teen girls and young women and depression, anxiety, self-loathing, uh, suicidal thoughts, eating disorders, cutting, all of the things so that they can step into their power, their confidence and love themselves. Yes, that is what I do every day, all day. And I'm really jazzed and pumped right now because I just got off of a group coaching session with my amazing young women who are in my coaching program and I wanted to just pop in here, on here, in here, on here, whatever, <laughs> really quickly and just share why it is so important for your daughter to really work on her mindset because your daughter's power resides in her mindset, right? This is so important because I have, I have so many girls and young women coming to me every single day and what happens is these girls are on like a loop. It's almost like a, a soundtrack of being miserable all the time of like, I can't do this. I'm unworthy. I don't deserve this. I hate myself. I don't deserve to be here. I'm a waste of space. I should just kill myself. They say these things to themselves every single day and then they wonder why their life sucks or why they're struggling so hard with their mental health. Well, we have to take a look at the, the beliefs that your daughter, the beliefs and the thoughts that are really taking control over your daughter's life because your daughter's beliefs create her reality, okay? Now, when we don't actually look at your daughter's thoughts and beliefs that are creating her reality, we can't change anything. So if you want, to change your daughter's reality, well, we gotta take a look at her thoughts and beliefs that are creating it in the first place. So one of the things that I think is really important when we look at this is why your daughter isn't able to take action in her life. I have so many girls that come to me and they're self-sabotaging themselves and they're getting in their own way and they don't know how to stop it and it's just like they don't get out of their comfort zone or they don't they do not do the work on themselves or they're not motivating themselves and they know all the things, or maybe they don't know all the things, but they know some of the things to do and they're not doing it. Or maybe they don't know what to do so they're not doing it as well, right? We have to take a look at why your daughter is unable to take action in her life. If it was as easy as saying, hey, sweetie, here's a list of things that you need to do. One, take a shower. Two, go to school. Three, make yourself a lunch. Four, do your homework. Five, take care, whatever it is. If it was that easy to just give your daughter a list and then she would go do it, then, then that would be great. It's not that easy and here's why. Because your daughter has to look at her beliefs first. If she's going to actually take action in her life and go do her homework or go, you know, go uh, put in those college, college applications for, for college or go out and try to get that job or go, you know, get her driver's license or her permit or go make those friends or go pay, you know, put more attention into her mental health. Any of these things, we have to look at her beliefs first, okay? This is everything and here's why. When your daughter has a belief system of, I'm unworthy, I'm undeserving, I don't deserve to be here, what's the point? How's she gonna take action in her life? How's she gonna move forward when she hates herself that much? How is she gonna move forward when she's telling herself every day that she's a waste of space and that she should just die? How's that gonna work out for her? It's not. So in order for your daughter to change her life, she has to change the way that she thinks. She has to change her beliefs. This is imperative, this is so important and I really cannot stress this enough, how important this is. We did an exercise in my group coaching session um, that I got off of just a little while ago with my young women in my program, and we were talking about what they want for themselves, what they wanna have, what they wanna experience, what they wanna create, what they wanna do, what they wanna feel, and they're really getting into it, right? We were going like all the details and all the juicy stuff, and they were really creating their best lives 
okay? And then we looked at, okay, now what is the other side of your mind saying? Like the, the, the side that says you can't do that, that you're not good enough, that that will never happen, that you, who do you think you are? And like all of that stuff that's getting in the way. Now when your daughter doesn't have a clue about how to work her mind, how to work, how to know when her ego is running, uh, taking control of her life, when she doesn't know any of these things, then she just follows that voice in her head that says, you should, you know, you should cut yourself or you're not worthy or you're not deserving or who do you think you are? And she just follows that voice. And what I teach my clients is to take control of their lives by taking control of their mind. Now, people who struggle with mental health do not know how to take control of their mind, okay? They don't. And so this is what we teach in my program because every single girl comes into this program feeling very much like a victim. They've been struggling for years. They feel like nothing's been working for them. Nothing's been helping them. And they are frustrated. I got off of a call earlier today with two parents mom, a dad, and a girl who's 18, who's been struggling since she was like 12 years old. She's done everything. She did the counseling, the therapy, the hospitalizations, all of it. And every single time she got her hopes up thinking, this is gonna work, this is gonna work, this is gonna work, this is gonna work, and none of it worked. And here we are, eight, she's 18 right now, and she's been struggling for so many years. And what I really, you know, what I shared with her, it was actually really, really beautiful. Towards the end of the call, she said to me, this is like the first time I actually feel some hope. And she was actually really scared at the beginning of the call. She was like, I feel really nervous right now. I'm like, it's okay, it's okay, we've got this. And I, you know, I helped her to calm her down and then we moved through the call, right? But it was music to my ears towards the end when she said, I actually feel like a sense of hope right now. Cause she didn't have that before. And that's what your daughter needs more than anything. She needs to have hope and she needs to have faith that something is gonna work for her. And if your daughter has been going to residential treatment facilities and she's been going to the hospitalization and ER and, and therapy and all these things and nothing is working, then your daughter needs that hope that something is going to work. And oftentimes what needs to happen is you need to try something outside of the constructs of what we call traditional medicine or the traditional approaches, right? Because if you've tried all of that and nothing is working, then clearly something needs to change, right? It's kind of like that old saying, if you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, you're gonna get the same results. If you want something different, you've got to do something different. And this is what I really, I love about the girls in my program. They're doing something different. All of this stuff is like the work that we do. It's new. It's different. They're like, they're not even sure what they're doing, but they're, they trust me and they're really opening up their hearts for change and transformation. And that is what you want for your daughter. You don't want your daughter to stay stuck. You don't want your daughter to just feel fear and self-doubt and self-loathing and self-hatred and wanting to kill herself every single day because that is not the life that your daughter deserves and that is not the life that she wants for herself. She's got to learn how to get out of her own way. It's called self-sabotage. Lots of girls are doing it and it's not really helpful and it's not really productive. How does your daughter stop the self-sabotage? She needs to learn how to take control of this thing. This over here called her mind, she's got to learn how to take control of it. This is what I do with my girls and young women in my program. I'm teaching them how to take control of this. So when this starts saying, you are a piece of shit, who do you think you are? You don't deserve to be here. Suicidal thoughts. I have more and more girls coming to me with suicidal thoughts and attempted suicide than ever before. I have more and more girls that are coming to me that are cutting themselves than ever before. I have more and more girls that are coming to me with eating disorders more than ever before. These girls are hurting and they are in pain and what are we doing to actually give them a new approach to change things? right? The mental health system is flawed. It is. And if it's working for your daughter, great. Keep doing what you're doing if it's working. But I'm not talking to you if it's working. I'm talking to all those parents out there. It's not working for your daughter, right? This is where we have to look at, okay, maybe we need to try something different. Maybe we need to try something that we have not done before for Sally or Jane or whatever, whatever your daughter's name happens to be. <laughs> I know no girls. Yeah. Anyways, I'm not going to pick all the names out of a hat, but you know what I mean? 
So it's really important going back to your daughter cannot change her life if she doesn't change the mindset. She doesn't change her mindset because here's what's gonna happen. She's going to keep self-sabotaging herself. She's going to keep getting in her own way and she doesn't know how to get out of her own way. She doesn't, she doesn't know how. And if she did know how to get out of her way, she would have done it a long time. Like she would have gotten out of her own way. So something, right, is keeping her stuck. And part of this, there's many layers to this, and I'm not gonna make this a super long Facebook Live, but one of the biggest layers to this is your daughter's beliefs. What is she saying to herself every single day? Your daughter can create her very own hell or she can create her very own heaven. And she can have it one way or she can have it the other way. But she's not gonna have both. It's not gonna be a hell heaven. So she's just gotta pick one and go with it. Now, unfortunately, most girls are creating their whole entire life and it's a hell. And they are creating it and they don't know how to stop it and they don't know how to get out of their own way, right? There's so many variables that go into this, but the biggest thing that I wanna say today is your daughter's mindset, your daughter's beliefs, okay? There's so many books out there, this is a proven thing, that your our beliefs create our reality. If we think we can't do something, we're not gonna be able to do it, right? If I thought that I couldn't become a coach one day and help hundreds of girls and young women change their lives, would I be here today doing this work? Absolutely not. I had to have a focus and I had to have a belief that I can do this, that I have a message and I'm supposed to help these girls and I am the person to do it. And I had to believe that and here's the thing, did I have my doubts along the way? Absolutely I did. How did I get out of them? Well, let me tell you how. I have had coaches for 10 plus years. I've had coaches for 10 plus years because I need a coach to help me see my blind spots, help me see what I can't actually see. To this day, I have multiple coaches that I work with. Multiple, not just one, because one is not good enough for me. I have multiple coaches. I do, and I'm actually looking into getting another one. <laughs> You can never have too many coaches. But I'm saying this because it's so important because I believe in the power not only of coaching because look, there's lots of coaches out there, but there's a certain kind of coach, like, and I'm not tooting my own horn, but I am gonna be confident in, in what I do with girls and young women and tell you this. Oh, hey, Noreen, love you. <laughs> I'm gonna say this, that having your daughter Hold on, how do I wanna say this? Having your daughter do the, this work. Well, what is this work? I mean, the work is working on her mindset, shifting her beliefs, shifting her, her thoughts, right? But also doing the healing work. Doing the healing work and learning how to love herself. Now the healing work, we can look at that and we can look at what you've already tried in therapy and what has worked and what hasn't worked. But the truth of the matter is most girls that come to me tell me that they're not getting anywhere with therapy. They go there, it's a venting session. This girl today that I spoke to today actually said they never had, what did she say? Hold on, I want to, I have the notes right here. Do I have my notes right here? I don't have my notes right here. It's somewhere else. Anyways, but she said that she was, always, the therapist was always telling her like, Oh, we'll get to that. We're gonna get to that. Like, I'll, I'll teach you how to do that. And they never did. They like, she never made that progress. She never got that transformation that she was hoping for, that she was praying for, that she really needed to change her life. And so when we get stuck in the head and we're just talking, talk, 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 it will only do so much, but we actually have to bring in the healing component to all of this. And this is what I do in my, with the work that I do with teen girls and young women. Yes, I also work with young women. I, I gotta, uh, some people think I only work with teen girls, okay? I have two groups. I have one group coaching for the younger teens and I have another one for the older ones and young women. So I do both, okay? But where was I? Anyways, um, oh, so the healing work, okay? So oftentimes, if your daughter is going to therapy, right, she's talking about her problems, she's rehashing them, but 
Is it actually teaching her anything to progress in her life, to move forward? Is it teaching her how to have those new beliefs so that she can stand tall and proud and say, I love myself, I'm important, I make a difference, and not just have these be words, but really mean it and believe it about herself. Now this is the work that your daughter must take on if she's really gonna change her life. Now you can get all the books in the world that you want, you can get the self-help books, you can watch the YouTube videos, you can even watch these Facebook Live videos, and don't get me wrong, they're fantastic. But there's only so much that your daughter is gonna get from all of these pieces versus actually being in a program where she's working on this every single, you know, every single day for weeks on end, having the support every single day so that when she does get stuck, when she does have that resistance, then she has that support from the other girls, from her coaches to help bring her out of that. That is so important. I cannot stress how much that is really, really important for your daughter. So I just, I feel for so many parents because I feel like the go-to is like, okay, my daughter has suicidal thoughts, she's tried to kill herself, let's put her in an inpatient, outpatient, let's do all the things, which a lot of you parents are already doing, you're trying that. And listen, I understand that if your daughter has attempted suicide, your first priority is keep your daughter safe. And yes, of course, and in order to do that, sometimes you have to send your daughter off to an inpatient, outpatient, do whatever you need to do. But as, like when your daughter gets out of that and she's still struggling, right? If your daughter has to have, is having suicidal thoughts on the daily, right? If your daughter hates herself every single day, if she's not eating because she hates her body, if she's cutting herself as a way to process her feelings and emotions, I'm here to tell you it's not, that's not the way. There's an easier way. Here's the deal too, your daughter's not broken and she doesn't need to be fixed, but what she does need to understand and learn are the tools and the skills to help herself. She needs to learn how to heal herself and she needs to learn how to love herself. This, these are the things that they're not being taught. They're not being taught there, like anywhere really. They're not. So this whole piece of loving herself, your daughter loving herself, your daughter believing that she is worthy, your daughter believing that she is enough, your daughter believing that she matters. How many of your daughters actually believe that? To be true, not just words that they say, but they actually believe it. This is the work, this is my the heart and soul of the work that I do. This is the passion that I have, that I bring to this work because I am a true believer that every single girl deserves to love herself. And no girl deserves to be in a toxic relationship with some guy who beats her or tells her that she is a piece of shit. No girl deserves to cut up her arms and her hands and her legs and her feet because she hates herself so much and she doesn't know how to process her feelings. No girl deserves to live in suicidal thoughts every single day wanting to die. No girl deserves to live through, to have to go through suicide attempt after suicide attempt after suicide attempt only to try all of the same things that are just not working. It's not working. We've got to try something different. It's so important. Your daughter's life is, for a lot of you, this is a life or death thing. Because a lot of you, your daughters are suffering. They're struggling and you're doing all the things and you're like, what the fuck? What do I do to help my daughter? But we keep trying it. We're doing everything. Why the hell is nothing working? I'll tell you why it's not working. And I got three reasons for you right now. Your daughter's not doing the healing work. Your daughter doesn't know how to love herself. And your daughter has not shifted her mindset. One, two, three. These are the pillars of my program. Your program works. I would shout it from the mountaintop. I am shout. Oh my God, it's like so dark in here. I gotta wrap this up. The lighting is going. <laughs> I don't have my lamp in here. So sorry if it's getting a little bit dark. I will, I do shout it from the rooftop, but I love you, Noreen, because you shout it too, because your daughter was in my program and had a massive transformation, and Noreen's daughter just went a whole year, because your daughter sent me a thing that said a whole year without cutting. That is such an accomplishment and a victory, and your daughter is like living proof of what is possible when we learn this amazing work, when we get out of our own way, when we do the healing work, when we do the self-love work, when we do the mindset work, we are really unstoppable. 
We are and how amazing it is and what a gift it is for these girls and young women that are getting this now. That they don't have to wake up when they're 30 or 40 or 50 or 60 wondering what the hell have I done with my life? Because the time for your daughter to change is fucking now. I'm sorry I'm gonna cuss, but I'm gonna cuss because I'm feeling this right now. The time for change is now. Stop waiting and trying all the things that are not working because like I said before, if you keep doing what is not working, you're gonna keep getting the same results. I've had parents come to me and say, I've been following you for years and I've never reached out to you until just now. I said, what took so long? Because they thought therapy was gonna work, they thought this was gonna work, they thought that was gonna work. Now sometimes their daughter's not ready and that's a whole other thing. Your daughter has to be ready and wanting the help. But sometimes I have parents that have been like, well I've been following you for years and I don't know why and never reached out sooner. That, like, we have to look at that, right? Because this is different because this is not something that your, that your doctor is gonna recommend. Think for yourself, parents. Really, it takes, I know it's easy to get sucked down the loophole of all of the mental health and like everything that the doctors are saying and the therapists are saying, and, and we're, going, we're going in circles here. We're going in circles. And what your daughter needs is, it's almost like she needs an operation. She doesn't need a Band-Aid. She doesn't need a band-aid over the boo-boo and then just, but it, she's still bleeding inside. What she needs is the operation and what she needs, yes, think outside the box, thank you. And part of that operation, not a real operation, I'm just you know using some language here to describe what I'm talking about, but the real operation is the self-love. It's shifting her beliefs about who she thinks she is so she can step into her new identity. And it's also, what did I say self-love? I don't know. I think I said self-love. <laughs> but this is the work. This is the work. The most important relationship that your daughter will ever have is the relationship that she has with herself. When we put school before your daughter's mental health, your daughter loses. When we put um, extracurriculars and, and sports and, and all of that before your daughter's mental health, your daughter is the one that pays the price, right? This work, your daughter doing the work on herself is, there's like nothing more important than this. Because if your daughter, I, I say this all the time, I say this to my girls in my program, if your daughter doesn't have her mental health, what does she have? What does she have? So anyways, I'm losing light in here, I gotta go. <laughs> if this resonates for you. If you've been following me for a while, if you've been following me for a whole two minutes, it doesn't really matter. If your daughter is struggling and you know she's struggling and she wants the help, that is the, that is the requirement though. Your daughter has to want the help. If your daughter doesn't want the help, if she's not ready, then I'm not, this is not gonna work. She has to want the help. The light looks fine. Oh, okay, good. I don't know what, for me it looks really dark in here, but maybe for you it's fine. Maybe on the other end it's fine. Okay, cool, thank you, Noreen. <laughs> So if your daughter wants the help and you're sick and tired of, of wasting years after years trying all the different things and nothing is working, then try something new. Watch, I'm gonna leave my webinar link below. It is called Healing the New Medicine for Anxiety and Depression. Watch that if you have not seen it already, okay? At the end of that masterclass, there is a link to book a call with me. If if everything I say resonates for you and you're like, yes, yes, we need, we need this, then schedule a call with me, right? But you have to be committed, your daughter has to want the help, and then we can get on a call and see if it's a fit, okay? So with that, I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm sending you guys all massive, massive love. I feel for each and every one of you for your, if your daughter is struggling right now in her life with her mental health, but I'm here to help tell you, not hell you, <laughs> I am here to tell you that there is a solution and no, it's not in the traditional approach of what the doctor is gonna to recommend to you. It's not in the traditional approach of sending your daughter to a hospital or an outpatient or IOP or anything like that. This is a different approach. And if you wanna watch the loads of testimonials and transformations that, that we've, been, you know, we've been seeing for years for our clients, go check them out, they're incredible. 
And um, anyways, if, if this resonates for you, watch the masterclass and you can go ahead and book a call from there. With that, I'm gonna let all of you guys go. Have an amazing night or morning wherever you happen to be in the world. I'm gonna take little Annabelle on a walk right now, my little doggy, and I'm sending you guys so much love. So um, I'll talk to you guys really soon. Mwah! Bye for now.